at it again. Okay, so today's challenge is to make some sort of bracket arrangement or something to house these there somewhere. A couple of um, really, really helpful comments recently. And thank you guys for your help. I forgot to tab these down. So that's going to be, uh, I'll do that at some point as well, just to knock these down flat there and over the other side. I had overlooked that, I'd forgotten that they, they run flat, so big thumbs up for your help on that one. Okay, so let's get some cardboard and start mocking out a plan for this. I think the first thing we need to do is work out what height we got. Okay, so pretty simple way of finding out what height we've got. Tape measure just there and drop the bonnet down. Simple as that. So if we compare that to one of those. Oh there we are. That's that's plenty because we only want to go to there, look so. We've got plenty of height there, so that's good news. Right, so now we know our maximum height is around four and a half inches. So as long as we stay below that there, we're okay. That brings us up to about there somewhere. So that's fine. So if we start off. fairly flat over here somewhere. We just come across level. Not sure what I'm gonna do about this because there's a water channel there. They don't want the water puddling just there. I, I don't really know how this is gonna go if I'm honest. I'm just sort of cutting out bits and seeing what looks right. And then we'll take it from there. Maybe we can use that piece as our repair for there, and that piece, like so. Two inches to nothing to give us a level, which brings us up there somewhere. Which is surprising because that looks like it's running. So my plan was to make this part of the bulkhead to cut out that entire area and make it but I'm still stuck with this channel here which if I do do that I'm going to end up with a dam there and water puddling there which we don't want. So I think we'll be better off repairing this section and making a bracket rather than making it part of the bulkhead. So that will bridge across there then and the water will still be able to flow out. problem that brings me then is I won't have access underneath to and that still will poke through that channel there which I, I don't really want it doing but I may have no choice which is annoying I'm going to say because I didn't really really didn't want that to happen I've seen ones where they cut out this section here and they sit in there but then you, you're doing away with the heater arrangement which I don't want to, I'm going to make this a, a usable road car. And from previously, previously putting a pedal box on an Escort, although it was only two, I only needed front and rear cylinders, um, reservoirs. 
they need to be as high as possible because the, the tops of the um, master cylinders are, sit quite high underneath the bulkhead. They're not far off the lift lift the bulkhead itself. So, ah oh dear, what can we do about this? In my head, it was all quite simple. Right after a fair bit of pontificating around and cleaning things up, I think I've settled on a, an idea. So if I have this here, so it'll settle down into that channel, probably square this off and bring this up so this channel just sort of comes around to there. Bring that into there, so any water coming down there then will run onto this and down off the back there. I could possibly even put a little uh, dimple across the back there with a bead roller then the free pots sit i tried making it so it would be level but it just looked awful i think if this is done carefully and, and following this sort of these sort of contours into that to make it look more factory i think we'll be onto something so that's the idea at the moment Right, okay, so one there, one there, one there. Yes, I think that'll work. Right, I think that's the plan. We'll uh, make that out of steel now as one complete unit. Then we'll offer it into place before we cut any of this away. And then what this will make is this will become part of that bulkhead section there. Yeah, so I think that's a bit more attractive than just a flat shelf coming ac across there. And has a, a slight hint of factory about it. Maybe even blend this in, the sweep on that a bit better. Yeah, so if we stick that onto there now. Take this up and sweep into there. I think it would also look quite nice. So as you flatten it all out, that's the piece of metal we need. Right, so there's the bit of metal to cut out. Start trimming. Right, so for this piece, you want to bend down along that line there but you want it to be a little bit of a curve on it so it's more of a rounded bend now oh, make the mark on there ready In there and there. Right, 
Okay, so just offered this up against the car. This looks pretty close. So let's just have a go at banging that in there and bending it around that. Something like that. Yes, there we are. That's nice. That gives a nice radius on that. So that'll look neater in the car. Just going to off that against the car now to see what it looks like. Right, what we're going to do now is bring it back a bit. Hopefully we'll follow the, the look of the panel, the factory panel that's there. Okay, a bit more. As it happens. Right, that piece is nice. Let's work on to this one. This is going to be a bit of a challenge because I want to do a, a bend along there down to nothing. And again, I want a radius on this. This bit of angle has got a nice radius on it. That might do us nicely. Let's give it a whirl and see what happens. Right. Hang on a sec. what we want for that. Yeah, nice, it's the same as that one. That's good. Right, bring that one around there now. Oh, what I'd like to do here is round that off along there. Round those round. I'm going to turn it around then. We can have a bit of a rounded edge on there. Oh. Well, that's the plan anyway. Okay, look. Now let's see if we can bring this around there. The next one is to send this uphill. Right, 
idea now is to put a little bit of a gentle sweep on that. I think if we turn this round. <clears throat> Again, we're getting closer and closer. Now, I was going to put a little channel in there, but I forgot, so it's too late now. Right, bring the scribe around it and cut it out. So, sharpen up my punch to make a scribe. Describe that again. To see what means better. Hole. Right, before I weld that in place, it'd be easier for me to drill the holes for these now. So I think we'll mark that up and get those drilled out ready. Yeah. Something like that, they fit quite nicely on there. Right, quite happy the way they look. I intend to dimple the holes so these stand vertical rather than all over the place. But, uh, look all right what I'll probably do to do that is weld this in place get a bit of threaded rod with a flat washer so I can hike it over simple as that just to get a little bit of a step in it okay so ugly welded that around there I'll take that to the bench grinder now and give that a, a clean up plenty of weld on there so I can give a nice rounded edge on that 
Okay, so nice roundy edge on that now. Maybe like a press panel. Let's see what that looks like. No. Right, got a handle on it now. in place so next challenge is I'm gonna get a bit of threaded rod now and make these holes so they're uh, horizontal so the, the pots will sit vertical. I have lots of um, dressing to do some pretty ugly welding around there in places and I've got the repair to do along there as well so let's come in again bit by bit slowly slowly and we get we get to it. Right, so what I'm thinking. Just one way to find out whether it works or not. That through there, and the wash on the other side, tighten down, and hike it over. Simple as. Now the pot should fit nice and flush in them. Right, hopefully now we don't have any water standing. So the water will come down there and run off there. Uh, any water down through here will run through this channel and out, allegedly. What it actually does is get caught between the seams, but that's another thing. I think that's not looking too bad. Right, let's check the bonnet still fits. Should do. Right, a moment of truth. Oh, 
it's just a little about lovely it's about half an inch above that one on the left so right, there we go that's it all ground up and uh, looking shiny quite happy with how that's come out looks like it's well yeah, I, I think and hope it looks like it's meant to be there so I just got this uh, section to repair around here next and uh, that'll be that bit done and dusted